Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Kristen and today I'm going to take you along with me to give our yard a good facelift. It's very much needed. It is in pretty rough condition right now. We had some previous renters with dogs and so it just killed all the grass. There's quite a few holes in the yard and this is just completely overgrown. Very sad. I basically gave up on the yard because of the condition it was in. So we are going to fix this throughout the next about week independently on a budget with the time that we have. So as you can see, it's not too pretty. So we're gonna go at it and see if we can get it looking a lot better. Mom's teaching me how it's done. We did some damage. Get it, Grandma. Show us your. Wow, that's actually pretty good. She's strong. Ooh, she's strong. Holy cow, you guys should arm wrestle. No, because <laughs> one of us might get hurt. Look at all those now. So it's still the same day. We just got back from getting a ton of pastas from my grandma. So that's what you just previously watched. And then we put a lot of plastic down just where we want it. And we're starting on taking out the really bad overgrown old flower garden. And then we're just gonna finish up putting the plastic where we want it, holding it down. And then we will start carving out the edging for the hard plastic trimming part. This part was tricky to say the least. Um, it just, it was so circly, <laughs> if that even makes sense, it wasn't sticking. So we ended up taking a lot of dirt chunks out as you can see and making a pretty big gap. And then we were just putting the dirt back in as we went and that worked a bit better. But this was super, super tiring and this took way longer than we thought just this part. But other than that, it started going pretty smoothly once we got the hang of it. So my mom kind of did this digging to do the straight line and then I just went back and refilled everything. I do want to say I started this process in the beginning of June and we went through everything in about a week with the whole finishing of what this video shows as far as projects. But then the end result as far as when grass grows back and all the flowers are blooming, all of that, that actually goes all the way to basically hey, September when our grass finally started to get somewhere. And I just remembered to finish the after video. So that is why I am just now uploading this. Wow, what a mess. We're making really good progress. That rose bush now? Sure. Or? I'll do the rose bush. Mom already got all these dug while I finished the other corner of the flower bed. They're looking really good. We're just gonna get these in, water them tonight, and then tomorrow I'll finish everything off. It's the next evening and I'm going to put one of the vine plants that I bought from the tree farm the other day. This one is very small. It didn't end up getting very big, but you can see it has one flower that is about this to is open be up. So and pretty it's pretty once it blooms. Since the last thing is planted, I can finish mulching all of this. The night before we just made sure to get all the hostas in the ground so that we could water them. And then we basically stopped at that point. So I got the last plant in. Now I'm mulching everything. As you can see in the back, we did not trim any grass. We didn't dig any dirt out. We did not put the plastic trimming in the back. And we were really just so, so tired. It was very taxing on our backs. And I was trying to do it quickly. And honestly, I don't know yet if I regret it or not. But all summer long, I had to go so often and weed whip that long grass that would grow up in the back. And it was really hard to do with not getting mulch everywhere. It was just pretty difficult to stay on top of. So I think I probably would have done something about that if I do it again, maybe in the back of our house. However, just about a week ago, the grass finally fully died back there. So I was able to just These pull it so, all out by so the root. Pretty. So hopefully our problem is solved. The they look together, but I don't know where to put them now. I'm being very indecisive. For now, that's what we're gonna go with. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna take all these rocks and get some nice ones and put a few throughout here. 
So we used a lot of the rocks that were originally the border by the very overgrown flower bed to just put in between and I think it looks really nice. I just cleaned them up with the hose. And I think it's coming together so, so nicely. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna tackle stuccoing the outside of our entrance. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. I don't know how this is gonna go. I did a lot of the research and YouTube videos on it, so I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. This is just more serious because if I do it wrong, it could lead to issues down the road with rotting wood and then mildew and then mold and all this stuff we don't want to happen, so hopefully I do this right and well. As of right now, it's currently just wood, as you saw. So we're gonna put some weather barrier over it, then some chicken wire, and then we're gonna get going with the stucco. I don't know if we'll get to the stucco today or not, but we shall see. A quick disclaimer, this is in no way, shape or form a tutorial. Like I already said, I've never done this before. I know what I'm doing in the confidence of doing it on my own place, but never ever use my stuff as a tutorial because chances are I might not be doing it right. But so far it's been pretty good and this was a really fun project. And I've been in it about five minutes and I already cut my leg on the chicken wire. So that was great. Got a battle wound already. It's really loud outside from construction across the street. So I'm gonna talk in here. <laughs> But I got the one little section done with the weather barrier and the chicken wire. The chicken wire is a very big hassle to put up. I'm already tired. It's 2.25. I'm going to see how much I can get done by 3 o'clock. I'm really hoping I can get to doing this stucco today yet. So how I was putting on this chicken wire was unrolling it a little bit, just enough to be able to staple it. And then I would unroll it quite a bit more and try to keep it as flat as possible while stapling right near my hands. And this was pretty tricky, just keeping all the little hexagons level. A lot of them would bend out a little bit weird. And I knew that would make stuccoing in the end very difficult. So I just stapled so, so, so much. done as far as the chicken wire goes. I'm so tired. It's actually already 3.30. I did not get it done by 3, but that's okay. At least it's done now. I'm not doing the back part because I don't have enough stuff, but for now, the side and the front is the most important. So I'm gonna go get everything for the stucco. We'll see how long that takes. All right, we're going for it. We are starting with the stucco. I've already had experience with stucco with doing our bell tower renovation. If you haven't watched any of those, you should go do that. Those are super fun. Definitely my favorite renovation my husband and I have ever done together. Anyways, I already had experience with mixing up stucco. This one was a little bit of a different kind. It went on much smoother. It was just overall easier and way more satisfying to work with. And it was also really nice getting to do this, just my own pattern and texture, whereas the bell tower, I really had to try to match it to the other walls. So this was overall felt like a totally different experience and I really enjoyed it. All right, I got the very first section done. This is what it's looking like so far. I honestly love the look of the hexagon. It reminds me of honeycomb. It's actually such a cool texture. So now I'm debating if I want to leave it that thin or do a second coat, but the texture is 100% perfect. The first try, incredible. Um, I'm using different stucco this time. So I'm wondering if that's it because the first time I did stucco up in our bell tower, it was like almost a nightmare. So this has been very enjoyable. You might be able to tell, but this time the stucco is much thicker. It definitely dries a little bit over time. I would say it has been about 10, 15 minutes at this point. So it did get a little bit more thick, which as you can see, it's just a little bit of a different texture. Not a big deal. I did end up doing a second coat later on in this video. Okay, so I got that and this much done with about half a bucket. So I need to mix up some more, do the rest of this, and then that whole other side. So I'm starting pretty close to the corner. 
but I'm not forming it quite yet. I want to get things a little bit spread out and then later I go back and I tackle the corner. It's definitely not a perfect, beautiful, precise corner, but it works and it's pretty good overall. I'm so dirty. That stucco, I'm filthy. I got some sun though, so that's fun. It is now the fourth day and I've been doing this every single morning, so I wanted to show you guys. It's just a little bit of miracle Grow that you attach to the hose and then spray it on all the dead areas of your lawn. This whole summer we had a horrible drought, so the whole lawn growing process did not go so well, but I just did the second coat, didn't film it because I thought it was kind of boring. Still have to do the second coat on this big wall. And then Dominic got back from a trip. He was gone on the whole earlier time of this. So he is helping me finish up the backside and I'm gonna keep stuccoing. I wanted to show you all the beautiful flowers started to bloom and it made me so, so happy. This is the side of the house that I didn't show you guys much of, sorry. This has been my morning routine of watering flowers. And then I've been getting to use some of them for our Airbnb welcoming baskets and it's made me so happy to be able to use the flowers from around our house and just make it more welcoming. So this rose bush here only lasted about two weeks tops and it is looking really, really sad. Not good at all. So I got another, this is not a rose bush, but I think it's gonna look good. It's on a trellis. We're gonna swap these two out and I'm gonna see if I can return this, not sure yet. Here's just a few different flowers that I wanted to get throughout the month of July and August. This is kind of what they have transitioned into. Here is the end result. This is the yard. It's still not perfectly beautiful and grassy, but I really like this little main area by the entrance. But yes, the yard could still use a little help, but due to the drought, lack of rain all summer, it is so much better than what it first started out as. Here's all the flowers, the lining. As you can see, I got all that grass pulled out in the back, and then I did get this trellis for the plant to grow up. It got so much bigger throughout the two months. I love how much this thing has bloomed and grown. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I think it's perfect. It's so much better than the rose bush was, that is for sure. Then for the little vine plant, I ended up putting this stick here for it to start growing up, but it really didn't grow as much as I thought it would, to be honest. So we'll see how it does next year, but I don't think it's meant to get that big after all, and it only bloomed a couple of times. I'm not sure what's wrong with this hosta, but yes, I know it looks very sad. I think it has some form of bugs on it, but all the other ones are happy, so it's just this one. Taking you to the side of the yard now, I actually never showed any of this process. So I basically used up scraps to do this area and it didn't take me too long, but I was just super tired when doing it. But we got all the overgrown trees out of this bush and there originally was a flower right there, but I had to take it in already because it was already getting too cold at night for it. Here is late August, the beautiful hot pink flowers. I love them. This is the full overview of this little side yard area.